Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing something really fun. It is in September. That means football fall-ish. We can't really say fall. Well, I guess I can say fall because the pumpkin spice lattes are released, so we can definitely say fall. Fall is almost here, which means we've got some really fun things happening. So today I'm going to be giving and showing you all a game day look. Game day, sweetheart. I'm wearing, well, I guess you can't really see it right now, but my shirt says sassy on it. It looks like savvy, but I am from Arkansas, so we are the Razorbacks. Therefore, I wear red and white. This is my game day shirt. <laughs> Ish and kind of, but we're going to be doing a fun fall game day look. Another really exciting thing that's going on is that the uh, September Eco Tools XO box has released. The packaging is super cute. The phrase is "You gotta nourish to flourish," which is just true, practical, and really cute as well. But what's really exciting is that in this box they're releasing their new 360 Ultimate Blend brushes. So usually the Eco Tools products have the trademark. Where's my brush? Over oh, right here. This bamboo color brush. So this is a totally new package. I want you guys to see it in the package so you know what to look for, but I'm going to be using these to show you guys how I'm going to be applying my foundation and some blush and a little bit of a cream highlighter to kind of brighten myself up. Let's get started. Did not need scissors, just needed a stronger will. <laughs> Okay, so these are the brushes and they are called Ultimate Buff, Ultimate Cover, and Ultimate Pop. So for the very first thing we're gonna be doing is taking our foundation using the Ultimate, this is the Buff, I don't wanna say bluff, that was not even a word, Ultimate, or it is a word, but not in the case that we're using it. So we're gonna be using the Ultimate Buff and we're gonna be using this foundation. It's uh, a new foundation that I've been using that I really like, it's the Clinique Stay uh, Matte Oil-Free Makeup. It's really light feeling, which I kind of like for game days and for fall because game days are long days and then most of the time outside and you can't control the weather no matter how much we'd like to. So let's get started. I'm putting a little bit of the Clinique uh, Stay Matte. Oh, what color is this? I'm wearing the 06 Ivory color. And then without putting a little bit of this on, I'm going to be buffing it out all over my face. Okay, so I really enjoy this. Usually I use, I'm like, a, my go-to is their uh, Perfecting Blender from Tools, this green guy, but this is really fantastic. It was really quick to use, and usually I don't use buffing brushes when I'm putting on foundation, but I really like the coverage that this gets. This also is super, super soft. Wow, I kinda just wanna do that the rest of the video. But this, I really like and I really recommend it's super easy to blend out too when you're going down into your neck because you just kind of keep that swirling motion going. I really like this a lot. That's super fun. Okay, furthermore, all right after that we are going to be putting a little bit of a concealer right underneath our eyes. We're going to be using the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. This is in the lightest color and it's been loved so it's not there anymore but I know it's in the lightest color. I have another one in here so if I can find it I'll just put it down below in the comments on what color it is. But for now just know that it's um super light this color because I like having a really light under eye so you can't tell I'm tired. Furthermore. So with this we're going to be using the ultimate cover. It's the smallest guy. The medium one is the pops. So we're going to be using the smallest one and we're going to be using the exact same motion. A circular windshield wiper type motions underneath our eyes but going super super light. We never want to put we don't ever want to put too much pressure underneath our under eyes. So let's get it started. I feel like I can control this really, really well. This is super great because the bristles are so compact. I feel like I have a lot of control in what I'm doing and where the product's going. So this is really, really nice. Again, wow, that blended super fun. Okay, now we're gonna do that right on top of our nose and I'm gonna bring it a little bit above um, my brow as well. We're gonna kind of use that to brighten up our areas. We're not going full throttle into heavy coverage, but we're gonna be doing what's really nice for a whole day shablam pow. 
And we're gonna be using that exact same brush to do the exact same thing. So it's a super small one to have the most control. I'm gonna get really close to the mirror that I have up here, so hello. You know, since I'm having so much fun with this brush, I'm actually going to go and use this right above my lip and then right on top of my chin as well, which is where we would put the highlighter. But we're just gonna add this as well because this is fun to use. Okay, now that we have our foundation and our concealer right where we want them, I'm going to now use, I've been wanting to do this for a while and so I'm excited to show you guys. I've used this in the past a few times and I really like the way that's turned out, but I'm actually going to be using not just a cream blush, but I'm going to be using the Clinique Chubby Stick Moisturizing Lip Balm as my blush. So I really like the way that these turn out because they're so pigmented and because I feel like there's a little bit of shimmer in that that I like and I find not often in cream blushes. So we're going to use this and we're going to blend it out with the pop brush of the set. So I'm going to dab a few little things on there and right my cheek. I'm not going to start right here because that's the apple. I'm going to actually go from right here and then go inward because if I put it right there, we don't want to have like two circles. Maybe we do, but not today though. Put it today. Oh, and this is the color B27. It's kind of like a cute little rosy color. So using these brushes, I really love them. Uh, it, it, they're called the 360 Ultimate Blend, but I really love them because the way that they are uh, helping apply my makeup to my face makes it all feel very light and airy. And it's all very blended and I'm really digging this a lot. This is really awesome, I highly recommend these. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is to set all of the foundation that we just blended, that's blended to very nicely perfection. We are going to set it with uh, some translucent powder. So I'm gonna be using the full powder brush from Ego Tools and the Laura Mercier translucent powder to not bake my face, but to set it. So let's go. So after that, we're going to do our eyebrows. What I have been loving recently in eyebrows is what we're gonna do next. This is the Color Stay Brow Pencil from Revlon in the color 210, soft brown. I was wondering if you guys could see the end, but you may not be able to because it's so small, but it's an angled uh, applicator, which I really, really like, and so it'll be easy to draw up the eyebrows. So let's get started. Then I'm going to use the Eco Tools. I like to say spoolie or spoodle, but it is called the spoolie. <laughs> We're going to be brushing our eyebrows up to the heavens where they look the nicest and happiest. On to eyeshadow. What I've been loving is the Tartlet in Bloom palette. We're going to use all of our colors from this palette. It's really happy. It is very warm, which I like, and it's kind of neutrally, but it can also go for some darker tones if you are in the mood. All right, for this first color on this Tartlet in Bloom, we're going to be using the full shadow brush. Oh. Here we go. Oh, and we're just gonna hold it sideways. We're going to use the Charmer and the Flower Child. A little mixture of that and put all of our lid. After that, we're gonna be using one of these eyeshadow duos that I love. This one has the smudge and blend. So we're gonna be using the blend side and picking up a little bit of the sweetheart right here and putting it in the corner of our eye and then brushing it all the way, not to our uh, eyebrow, but right underneath the ridge of our brow bone. Alright, do that exact same motion, just in a smaller location. We're gonna be using the two right above it, the Smarty Pants and a combo deal of Jet Setter. Right above it.
Alright, so I, after all that, we're going to be using the smaller one, the smudge side of it, and I'm picking up the rebel, which is right down here, taking a little bit of it, tapping it off, and putting it right in the corner, and slowly, and very smallly, smallly is not a word, but very small sections blending it towards the inside of our eye. Using that same brush, we're gonna be going using that sweetheart, this one from the beginning, underneath our eyelid and bringing a close to our waterline as possible without making ourselves cry. Alright, so after doing that, we're going to do my favorite. We're gonna use some eyeliner and we're gonna use mascara, but first I'm gonna swipe some of that away, which is why again we put a little bit of chance of some powder on our face because it's really easy to swipe that away once that powder is set instead of just putting eyeshadow or the fallen eyeshadow directly in our foundation. The eyeliner I have been using lately is super fun. It's the Sex Kitten from Tarte and it actually, can you see? I want to make sure y'all can see this because it has a cat and it's so, don't focus on me, focus on the cat, focus on the cat, focus on the cat. There it is, kind of, you kind of did. Okay, we'll bring it back to my face since apparently it doesn't want you to focus on the cat. Okay, furthermore. Again, I love doing eyeliner by putting it and trying to put it directly on my lash line. That way it gets to as close to my, well, lash line as possible. So we did a little bit of wing there as well. I just literally just flicked that out. That's why I really like this one. It's very easy and very drawable. After that, we are going to be putting on our mascara, which my tried and true, the L'Oreal Voluminous Curved Brush. Very simple, putting it on. Actually, really funny story. I was doing my makeup in the car. I think it was like last week or something. And I was putting this on and to Nate, I was like, Nate, do you know what this is called? And he had absolutely no idea what mascara was called. And I have never laughed so hard in a very long time. It was cracking me up. He thought it was called concealer or he was like, is that the stuff that goes on your lip liner? And I was like, oh, this is just, I failed him. Right, and now for the end of it, I'm actually going to be using the lipstick that we used for our cream blush earlier. It's the CoverGirl, or nope, I lied, not CoverGirl. It's the Clinique uh, Chubby Stick one, and so it's actually a moisturizing lip balm, which I really like, and it has a good color to it. And then we are game day sweetheart. So thank you for watching this video. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and let me know. Again, I really like the way this turned out. My foundation feels very light and airy, which is always what we want. And happy game days, happy fall, and as always, so much love.